tertiary structure of protein is actually the tertiary level of organization of protein molecules so the three overall three dimensional arrangement of all the atoms in a protein molecule is referred to as the proteins tertiary structure so if a polypeptide chain it uh, it assumes a fully folded and three dimensional structure that is a tertiary structure of protein here uh, you can see this is a single polypeptide chain and it has assumed the tertiary structure by folding back and forth and it assume fully functional three dimensional uh, structure here in this uh, structure you can easily see uh, the disulfide bonds uh, have been formed between the different amino acids of the same polypeptide chain as you know uh, in a secondary structure uh, the secondary structure uh, includes the local aspect of conformation but the tertiary structure includes longer range of uh, amino acid sequences for example the amino acids that are far apart in the polypeptide chain may interact within the completely folded structure of a protein for example if a protein uh, contains 16 amino acid at position 5 and the second 16 amino acid may be present at uh, position 90 so uh, they are very uh, far from each other but when the polypeptide will fold into its tertiary structure the 90 number 16 may come close to the 16 number 5 and they both may interact they both may form disulfide linkage so in this way the number of weak interactions and covalent interactions are made between quite far amino acid residues interacting segments of a polypeptide chain in a tertiary structure they are held in their characteristic tertiary positions by different kind of weak interactions and sometimes by covalent bonds as well so uh, uh, as you know uh, this tertiary structure is uh, fully folded uh, conformation and this fully folded conformation is also a stable conformation like uh, alpha helices and beta sheets and how these uh, segments are uh, uh, remained at their place and they they remain at their place through the uh, uh, weak interactions as well as uh, covalent interactions as i mentioned uh, uh, the far uh, uh, located cysteine bonds cysteine amino acids can make disulfide linkages similarly very far uh, located amino acids can make hydrogen bonds hydrophobic interactions ionic interactions and some covalent interactions so in this way a stable three dimensional structure is formed which is tertiary structure of proteins some uh, very large polypeptide chains usually fold into two or more globular clusters and these uh, clusters are called domains which the presence of these domains often give these proteins a bi or multi lobal appearance so there is a, a fully folded uh, protein molecule and in this molecule there are many maybe two or more uh, smaller uh, clusters of uh, polypeptide chains and these smaller clusters are called domains like uh, here in this pictures you can see this is a protein and this is at its tertiary level of organization in this protein you can clearly see one domain is this other domain is this and the third domain is this so this whole molecule contains three domains and it appeared that this protein is trilobular three lobes are present in this molecule similarly in this molecule you can see this is a, a, a three dimensional structure of a protein which is at its tertiary level of organization 
and in this protein although it is tightly folded and it is hard to distinguish domains but even then on close observation you can find the domains one is this other is this and third one is this so these three domains are also present in this protein molecule so in this uh, way the larger proteins they make uh, domains and these domains are further made up of some super secondary structures which are also called as motif